How's it going guys? My name is Mikey and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing the top 5 Galarian forms for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you guys didn't know obviously back in Sun and Moon we had the Alolan forms which were basically like Cantonian Pokemon transferred over to Alola and they became like kind of adapted to the habitats around them. Now I was thinking that it'd be really cool if Pokemon Sword and Shield did something similar but with the uh, kind of UK as kind of the habitat that the Pokemon were kind of evolving into and how they could use this to kind of transform some Pokemon into other forms. Obviously we haven't got any Galarian forms actually drawn up by people because not many people kind of thought about it. But I'm going to be using some of the Alolan forms that I think would actually work well in Galar and you guys can let me know if you guys think the same. Anyway guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and we'll get straight into the video. Okay, so in this first position we have Poison Cast Form. So it's kind of like Cast Form, but it's kind of like another form for it. So the reason I chose this specifically was because I was thinking about the industrious nature of the uh, Galar region. And the kind of cities and the smog that they were probably producing. And the kind of contrast between the kind of countryside and the traditional medium and the kind of, you know, industrious steel works, that sort of thing, and how this would create some pollution across the land. And so I thought it'd be quite nice to add a bit of cast form in there and see how we could, you know, do that. So I found this, and I think this is really nice. So, you know, it's quite well designed, and it kind of matches everything. So you've got, like, the water one, obviously, the wind and the sun. But um, now this one would obviously be a poison type, and I think it just makes sense. It just kind of matches the Galar region and how it's all... You know, the industrious city looks all clean, but it may be polluted and leaving waste into the rivers, that sort of thing. So I thought this would be a really nice addition if it was a thing. Um, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think this is pretty nice and design-wise, really cool how it's flown on this cloud, but it's also like this wispy ball of kind of poisonous gas. So yeah, let me know what you think and let's go to the next one. Right, so in position number four, we have Galarian Apom. So this guy looks pretty damn cool, if I'm honest. He looks like he's going to really like smash some bricks up or something. So I was thinking again, very similar to the cast form, what kind of themes do we see a lot in Galar? And we see a lot of kind of construction and industrialism. So I was thinking, well, how could this link to a Pokemon form? But obviously with Apom, he's normally like got one hand on the end and he's purple, quite a cheerful monkey. This guy, he looks like he means business. He looks like he's trying to build something or break something down, just destroy something or build a building. He looks like he could be like a fighting ground type or a ground type or fighting type, anything like that. And it just looks nice and I think it'd make quite a lot of sense with the type of region Galar is. It's very domesticated I believe, you know, it's based on the UK, there's not much like jungle, that sort of thing. But I could obviously see this in a very urban environment and I think it would be a nice addition if it was obviously a thing. Now the design, I really like the idea of having this like fist, this glove on the end, obviously he's got a normal one. but this one is like all orangey and that sort of thing. Just reminds me of construction and dust. So I think this is a really nice one. I think this would be a lovely addition to have to the uh, games. But obviously that's depending on if Gal Galarian forms are a thing or not. So we'd have to see. But I think this is a nice choice and that's why I put him in number four. So let's move on to the next one. So next up here we have a Galarian Blastoise. Now I was talking in the armored video about Charizard. How a Charizard could get an armored evolution. Well, obviously, if Charizard was going to get an armored evolution, we'd want some Galarian forms in there too, like Blastoise, to kind of even it out. Now, this guy looks insane. Like, he looks really good. Now, I can imagine him being like a water steel type or a steel ground even. So he's kind of like adapted from the water and kind of become like the steel ground type to kind of counteract that. And very similar to Apom, I was like, you know what? This guy would look really cool in an urban environment, like kind of moving boulders and moving rocks and bricks and, you know, building stuff or working in the steel fabrication units, that sort of thing. So I kind of chose this based on kind of, you know, the map and the environment we see Galar based on. And I think it'd be a really nice addition to him being like in the desert or in a quarry sort of zone. There's a, there is a quarry zone in Galar. It's kind of in the top right corner. You'll see it near like that snowy bit there. So it was a really interesting addition um, having that sort of environment. So I thought, why not, you know, choose Blastoise or something. This guy, really cool design. So I think I like the look of it. But I don't really know what the things on the back are. They kind of look like gems. Again, we've got a cave as well. So it could be that he's, you know, from that cave. 
So it's a really nice addition. I think it'd be really cool to have one of these. And yeah, this is why I chose him for number three. So this next one, I have gone the opposite direction to how Casform was. Instead of going more polluted, I've gone less polluted. So I've gone for this kind of, I've chosen this kind of snake, you know, the Ekans and the Arbok, but they've gone kind of more for a water clean, purified water snake approach. And I think this would be really cool for like one of the lakes or something, how the snakes have kind of moved off from the jungle or from the cities and that sort of thing. And they've moved into the lake and, you know, inhabited it and become like water snakes. So I can imagine these guys being like a water electric type or a water poison type. I think this would be a really nice addition. I love the fact that I've got two here because we can kind of compare the evolution and the design. I really like the look of that Ekans. He looks really cool, like, you know, with that blue and black theme. That's quite nice. It's very not like the regular Ekans, really cool. And then the Arbok, very different as well. I love the little, like, face on it. He looks kind of, you know, quite menacing and quite scary, but it's almost like he's adapted to the wild. I really like this design. I think it could go really well with the whole of the Galar region, and it kind of makes sense. I think there's a lot of you know you get water snakes and stuff in uh, England. You get them in like certain areas and that sort of thing. So I think it fits into the wildlife quite well. So let me know what you guys think of this one, and we'll move on to the final Galar. And we'll move on to the final Galarian form. Now this one is definitely my favourite. Okay, so this is Tangler Galarian form. Now the reason why I love this so much is because of the colours, I just think the colours really work. So obviously Tangler's normally this kind of like, you know, just blue viney thing. Well, this person's made him into a rose bush, like a thorn bush, and it looks insane. It really, wor really works. Now if you think about it, there was in England, there was the War of the Roses. There's also the roses represent the royal family a lot, that sort of thing. So it kind of makes sense, it kind of links quite well, and it just looks quite British, I feel. We have a lot of rose bushes, that sort of thing. It's very a British thing, you know. It reminds me of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, another very British thing. But it's very interesting. I think it's a really nice design. I think it's well designed. I think the colours work really well for it. And I can imagine this being kind of like a grass dark type. I think that would work really well. I'd love to see a Tangrowth version for this and see what it'd look like and whether it'd be like an improvement or whether it'd be very similar. It'd be really interesting to see. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to have Galarian Forbes in the new, new games. I think it'd be a really nice addition. I don't see why they shouldn't do it, but they probably won't because every new game they do a different mechanic. But I think it'd be a really nice addition because Alone and Forbes really helped Sun and Moon out. I think it really helped Sun and Moon kind of get a bit of traction really I think without that they would have struggled just a little bit but I think doing this for Galar would be a really nice addition to the games obviously we'd have other mechanics and that sort of thing but I think it really really work in building like an environment around the games giving it a bit of diversity so let me know if you guys would want to see that in Sword and Shield and I will probably you know do more videos like this to kind of cover more of these potential forms and you know things that you guys want to see so that's all I have time for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button down below. I'd love to see your support. That'd be great. And comment what you guys think should be the top five Galarian forms for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I'd love to see your comments, and I'll go through them all and kind of talk about them. And be sure to drop a subscribe as we're nearing 1K. And I really appreciate your support. So, that's like I said, that's all I have time for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later for another video.